Looking for the best CPU coolers for the Ryzen 9 9950X3D? The 9950X3D is the latest flagship CPU from AMD. This powerful 16-core chip shares nearly identical specs with the 9950X, but it comes with a massive 128 megabytes of L3 cache, delivering a noticeable bump in gaming performance. However, that performance boost also means more heat. While the default TDP stays at 170 watts, the 3 dv cache is much more sensitive to high temperatures. So if you're dropping some serious dollars on the CPU, it only makes sense to pair it with a quality AIO cooler that ensures your temperatures are always staying at optimal levels. To help with that, I tested a wide range of coolers currently available and narrowed it down to the two best options that strike the right balance between performance, low noise levels, value, and aesthetics. So without further ado, for the best premium cooler for the 9950X3D, we have the Cooler Master Master Liquid Atmos 360. If you want a ton of headroom for performance and potential future upgrades, Master Liquid 360 Atmos is one of the best premium CPU coolers, and it's perfect for the 9950X3D. It offers exceptional performance, a dead simple installation process, and plenty of RGB. While it is expensive, it's on par in terms of performance with more expensive 360mm CPU coolers. Before we get into the review, it's important that you don't confuse this cooler with the Master Liquid Core line. The Master Liquid 360L cooler is the predecessor to the Atmos, and the latter is better in almost every way. It's easier to install, features a reworked dual chamber pump, better sickle flow RGB fans, and more eco-friendly packaging. Of course, that makes it a bit more expensive. To be exact, the Atmos is about 35% more expensive than the core version. However, considering all the improvements, it's well worth the cost. Design-wise, nearly everything is new here. It features a new copper cold plate design, Cooler Master's own in-house dual chamber pump, and plenty of memory clearance. The radiator is 27 millimeters thick, which means you won't have trouble fitting it into your case. As for the fans, the RGB lighting on the SickleFlow 120mm version looks phenomenal, and they can ramp up to 2500 RPM. Performance-wise, the new dual-chamber pump and the high-quality fans do a lot of heavy lifting. While Cooler Master has used Asetek pumps in the past, now they've transitioned to their own designs. This pump offers enhanced flow rate, better durability, and quieter operation, so it'll be able to cool the Ryzen 9 9950X3D with relative ease. But what about noise? Well, if you decide to run it at full throttle, the fans and pump can get a bit loud. The noise levels vary at those maximum levels, but that's a given considering the fans can reach speeds of up to 2500 RPM. Exact noise levels range from 48 to 52 decibels. This might not sound great on paper, but these results fall in line with other high-quality 360mm coolers. Fortunately, in most cases, you'll never have to run this cooler at full throttle. Within the Cooler Master software, you can normalize the audio from 35 to 38 decibels. This means that the fans and pump run considerably slower, but this still proves to be more than enough for a CPU like the 9950X3D. On top of that, the cooler is incredibly simple to install. One of the reasons behind that is the fact that the fans are installed to the radiator out of the box. This saves you a lot of time, and all you have to do is install a CPU block, the radiator, and plug in the fans. AIOs can be difficult to install, and it's good to see that Cooler Master worked their way around this. Now, how does it stack up against its competitors? Performance-wise, the Corsair H150i Elite and the Lian Li Galahad 2 Trinity performance come close. However, both of those coolers are considerably more expensive. The Galahad has also had reliability issues, a problem you won't find with the Atmos. All in all, this is a no-nonsense cooler that offers a lot of value, and it's a great pair for the 9950X3D. To sum up, what I like is the dead simple installation process, the superb performance, the respectable noise levels, and the fantastic ARGB lighting. On the downside, it's a bit expensive, and variable noise levels at full fan speed. Next, my top choice cooler for the 9950X3D is the Thermalrite Frozen Note 360 ARGB. Thermalrite arguably offers some of the best value air coolers on the market right now. However, you may be surprised to know that not only do their air coolers perform admirably, but Thermalrite's liquid cooling lineup is also worth considering. 
For the 9950X3D, the Frozen Note 360 checks all the right boxes. As testing shows, it can easily cool up to 235 watts, meaning you won't have to worry about temps even during all core workloads or gaming sessions. A closer look at the Frozen Note 360 shows a triple fan 27mm radiator setup, along with three 120mm ARGB 7-bladed fans that offer powerful performance but can run a bit loud. Unlike most AIOs on the market that feature pumps integrated into the CPU block, the Frozen Note 360 uses an inline liquid pump style, which, while known to underperform in the past, is not the case here. The installation process with the Frozen Note 360 is also relatively simple, with AMD AM5 support included right out of the box. From a design standpoint, this AIO cooler strikes a good balance between a clean look and an ARGB finish, making it a great fit for a wide range of setups, whether white or black, without feeling too flashy. To add to that, it also features an Infinity Mirror CPU block. Slight details like these give it even more flair. Now for the real question, how well does the Frozen Note 360 actually perform? Well, I'm happy to say that it holds up impressively well, especially when paired with the Ryzen 9 9950X3D. Despite its budget-friendly price, it stays within just a few degrees of high-end coolers like the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360, which usually sells for twice its price. That said, as highlighted before, the noise levels on the Frozen Note can be slightly concerning for those wanting a quieter experience, as it can exceed 50 decibels in certain scenarios. However, you can always tune down the fan speed to around 38 decibels, where the cooler still performs well while maintaining a low noise level. Just as with the brand's air coolers like the Peerless Assassin or the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo, Thermal Wright's Frozen Note 360 liquid cooler also offers strong thermal performance, a hard-to-pass price tag, and sleek aesthetics. Noise levels might be a bit louder than what most people would want, but a simple fan curve should get things running more quietly. Apart from that, there's really not much to critique for this AIO cooler. To sum up, what I like is that it can easily handle the top high-end CPUs, it's very affordable for the value it provides, and the ARGB lighting with a clean aesthetic. On the downside, it can be loud in certain scenarios.